guys, today this is Justin Fraser. Today we'll be looking at another review. Today we're looking at Bondi's Power Rangers Super Mega Force Turbo Falcon Megazord. Now, uh, this is my first Megazord from the series. I currently do not own the QX or the Legendary, but until I get the money to do so, I'll be buying those Megazords. I might be getting the QX first and the Legendary second. Anyway. This comes with the red RPM Ranger Key. And yes, these Ranger Keys are pathetic. One simple move where they pop up. That is so f***ing pathetic. Moving on to the sword itself. It, to me, it reminds me of what an F1, F1 racer looks like. Now, to get it into its, uh, Mega Zord mode, you just gotta basically rip them apart, put them back together. To do that, take off the front end. I don't realize I must do this with two hands. Whip out the wheel, whip out the front axle. Split the split the F1 racer pack front and part in front and half. Thus creating the arms. Move on to the back of the Zord. Take out the spoiler. I got the pipes. Flip up these panels. Rip it apart. Open it up. Thus forming the legs. Take the exhaust pipes. Stick that there on top. Then take the front axle of the of the car. Stick it in. Take the arms. Put them on those pegs. And uh, take the spoilers. Connect them onto the front. Connect them. Oh, put them over the wheels. This is the face. Take the face. Take the chest. And there you go. And here we have the Turbo Falcon Megazord in its Megazord mode. I mean, Turbo Falcon Megazord is a mouthful, so I'm just going to nickname this guy Turbo, if that's okay with you guys. Alright, alright guys, favorite Disney, favorite Disney World ride, go. What's your favorite Disney World ride once you went to, when you went to Disney World? Mine is obviously the, the Chevrolet Test Track. And I posted it on my Facebook page. That's JustinJF at Facebook.com. There's nothing else you can really do with this mode. I mean, it's a freaking Megazord. You can't do anything else with it. <laughs> and yes, Bolt Matrix did do a review on this guy, so I'm doing my take on it. Hope you guys like it. Now, uh, just so you know, when I do get the other two swords, to be more specific, the QX and the Legendary, I will be doing a review on the QX first, then the Legendary. Maybe... To be honest, I should have done a review on the Legendary first, then the other two. But, I got this guy at Walmart, thanks to my mother who spent $40 doing it. But, nonetheless, it's good to have a Megazord in my collection. I mean, look at that. That is so f***ing pathetic. Anyway, if you guys want to see more, send me, a, send me a link to my Gmail account. That's supercooljustin97 at gmail.com. And I'll probably get back to you if an within the course of a few days. Thanks for watching, guys. Justin Fraser signing off.